Hey everyone, we're going to check out another Autodesk certified user exam objective for Fusion 360. In this one, we're going to take continue to look at the assembly modeling category and we're going to look at rigid groups. So with rigid groups, we're going to be able to see what we kind of have going on and how rigid groups make things a little bit easier. So moving into Fusion, just to kind of show, I've created an automata box that's been all top down modeled. So you can tell over here on the left side, I've got a box bottom, which needs to be grounded. So I'm going to go ahead and ground that component. And then we've got box sides. We've got a box top and a box back. So the automata box is going to serve as like our kind of component. Now I'm going to show you the old way of kind of how to do this. So since we've already got this kind of all set up is right now I can drag and move these components. I'm going to go ahead and revert it back to its previous position. And then what it would usually happen is either I could use joint or I can use as built joint. So in order to go through and do this, I can choose as built joint and I have to rigid those components together. So like the two sides to the bottom, maybe the top to the sides. And then I also have to worry about the back as well. So as you can tell, as long as I do it with one of the other components. Now if I click and drag on any of the components, none of them are moving. So I always check that, double check that with the assembly. You'll see here I created four rigid joints in order to fully constrain these parts together. However, a lot of clicking, a lot of options, a lot of editing if I need to go back and make a change. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select all four of these and I'm going to go ahead and delete them. So rather than go through and have that, I'm going to show you under the assemble panel, we have something called rigid group. So the rigid group is going to lock down, as we can tell, it's looking for components and it says to include the child components. So meaning if it's got any other components like a sub assembly, it would do that. If we didn't want it to do so, then we would uncheck the box since this uh, assembly doesn't have any child components within the main components we don't have to worry about it so here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go around I'm gonna select all five of these parts or all five of these components I could also select them from the browser you'll see they'll highlight as well I'll say OK now if I click on the parts they all do the same thing so a rigid group is the same kind of scenario is completing the exact same steps except for now I have a rigid group in here and because I've tested this out a few times and tried some other things it shows up as rigid group 6 but you can see it kind of has this almost kind of uh, puzzle piece kind of looking appearance to it and it shows up down here in the browser as well so the main thing I've seen in the ACU exam that it looks for is that Students need to be able to identify what a rigid group is based upon the icon and then be able to note how many rigid groups exist in the assembly. So, but if we ever need to go back and edit the rigid group, it's a pretty easy editing process. It's just uh, choosing whatever parts that you need to add in. And it just goes through and applies almost like a rigid joint to all those different components. So that is really what rigid groups are all about. So it's a really neat tool to be able to utilize when you have multiple components that need to stay rigid without having to go through the multiple click process of applying rigid joints individually between two components. Hopefully this was a good uh, review of what rigid groups do and or maybe if it was something new then hopefully you learned something new. But again, just helping you look at being successful when you go to take your ACU exam. If you have questions, feel free to contact me. But otherwise, continue to, to study well and check out other videos to spot, see Spotlighted Exam Objectives for the ACU Fusion 360 exam.